Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S5 5052, Juni B. Jones and, the, and her big fat mouth. Part A, Chapter 1, Punishment. My name is Juni B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. I go to kindergarten. My room is named room 9. There are lots of rules in that place, like no shouting and no running in the hall, no butting the other children in the stomach with your head. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Last week, Mrs. Uh, clapped the loud hands together and she made an announcement to us. Announcement is a school word for telling us something very important. Boys and girls, may I have your attention please, she said. Today is going to be a special day in room 9. We're going to be talking about different careers you can have when you grow up. Yeah, only guess what I said. I never even heard of that dumb word careers before. And so I won't know what the heck we're talking about. Mrs. made squinty eyes at me. A career is a job, Juni B, she said. And please raise your hand before you speak. Then Mrs. talked some more about careers. And she said Monday was going to be called a job day. And everybody in room nine would come to school dressed up like what kind of job they wanted to be. After that, room nine was very excited, except for, for not me. Because I had a big problem, that's why. Yeah, only guess what, I said. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. And so that means I can't come to school on Monday. Now I'll probably flunk kindergarten. Hooray, shouted a ma mean boy named Jim. I ma made a fist at him. How'd you like a, a knuckle sandwich, you big fat Jim? I shouted right back. Mrs. came over to my table. She bent it down next to me. Please, Jenny B, you simply must try to control yourself better in class. We have talked about this before, remember? Yeah, I said nicely. Only I hate that dumb guy. Just then my the bestest friend Lucille, who sits next to me, stood up and flopped her roughly dress. I always control myself, don't I, teacher? She said. That's because my nana taught me to act like a little lady, and so Genevieve Jones should act more like me. I bet a growly face at her. I do act like a little lady, you dumb bunny Lucille. And don't say that again, I'll duck you on your can. Mrs. Dita frowned at me. Just kidding, I said very quick. Except for Mrs. I kept on frowning. And then she gave me punishment. You know, punishment is a school word for sitting at a big table all by yourself. And everybody keeps on staring at you. And it makes you feel feel like P.U. That's how I, that's how come I put my head down on the table. And I covered it up with my arms. The punishment takes the friendly right out of you. And so at recess, I didn't speak to Lucille. And I didn't speak to my other bestest friend named Grace either. I just sat down in the grass all by myself. And I watched a janitor paint the litter, paint the a litter cans. And I played with a stick and an ant and that's all. I hate room nine. I said very grumpy. Except for just then I saw something very wonderful in the grass. And its name was Two Cherry Life Savers. Hey, I love those guys, I said. Then I quick picked one up and I, I blowed off the germs. I put it right in my mouth. Wait, don't do that, shouted a loud voice at me. Spit that out right now. I turned my head. It was janitor. He was running at me. Speedy quick, his jingly keys were jangling all over the place. Spit that out, I said. He yelled again. And so then I spit the cherry lifesaver on the ground because the guy was scaring me, that's why. Janitor bent it down next to me. I didn't mean to frighten you, sis. He said, but I spotted a bunch of dirty candy in the grass and I was going to clean it up when I finished painting. He looked serious a bit. Don't ever eat anything you find on the ground. Do you hear? Not ever. But I blowed off the germs, I told him. 
Janitor shook his head. You can't blow jumps off, he said. Eating things that you find on the ground is very, very dangerous. The janitor picked up the dangerous candy. Now run along and play, he said. I did a big sigh. Yeah, only I can, said. Because I shut off my big fat mouth in kindergarten. And then I got punishment. And now I hate my bestest friend, Lucille. Janitor smiled a little bit sad. Life is hard sometimes, isn't it, sis? He said. I bopped my head up and down. Yeah, I said, life is pew. The janitor the, the patted my head and he walked away. And so guess what? I just like janitor and that's all. Chapter 2. The cop and Dr. Smiley. When we came in from recess, Mrs. was clapping her loud hands together again. Boys and girls, please take your seats quickly. I've got a wonderful surprise for you. Then I got very excited inside my stomach because surprises are my most favorite things in the whole world. Is it jelly donuts? I shouted. Mrs. put her finger to her lips. That means be quiet. Yeah, only guess what? Jelly donuts are my most favorite kind of donuts, except I also like the creamy kind and the chocolate kind and the kind with rainbow sprinkles on the top. After that, after that, my mouth got very watering and some drool fell on the table. I wiped it up with my sweater sleeve. Just then, there was a knock on the door. Mrs. hurried to open it. Hey, it's a cop. I hollered, very excited. The cop came into room nine. He had on a blue shirt with a shiny badge and shiny black boots and a shiny white motorcycle helmet. Mrs. smiled. Boys and girls, I would like you to meet my friend, Officer Mike. Officer Mike is a policeman who can tell me what policemen do. I can, I called out. They arrest people. Because one time, some cops arrested a guy on my street. And so that means they made him take a nap, I think. Just then, the gym I hate laughed very loud. They didn't arrest him, stupid. He hollered. They arrested him. That means they took him to jail. And so your neighbor's a dirty, rotten jailbird. Then the other kids laughed too. And so I hide it in my head. Yeah, only I hardly ever know the guy, I said to just myself. After that, Officer Mike took off his shiny white helmet. And he told us some other stuff that cops do. Like give our dads speeding tickets and rest drunk guys. And also he let us play with his handcuffs and his shiny white helmet. Except for the helmet was very too big for my head and it covered my whole entire eyes. Hey, who turned out the lights? I said. Cause that was a funny joke, of course, and another knock came at the door. This time it was a lady in a long white jacket. She was carrying a giant red toothbrush. Boys and girls, this is Dr. Smiley, said Miss S. Dr. Smiley is a children's dentist. Dr. Smiley hung up some posters of teeth. Then she talked all about Mr. Tooth DK. And she said to brush her teeth at night and also in the morning. Cause if you don't brush in the morning, your breath smells like stink, I said. After that, I showed Dr. Smiley my wiggling tooth. Losing baby teeth is exciting, isn't it? She asked. Yes, I said. Uh, Except for I don't like the part where you cry and spit blood. Dr. Smiley made a sick face. Then she passed out a uh, minty green dental floss. And all the kids in room nine practiced the flossing. Flossing is when you pull strings through your mouth. Only pretty soon an accident happened. That's because a boy named William, though, when did his floss too tight? And his teeth and head got in a tangled knot ball. And Dr. Smiley couldn't undo him. Then Mrs. had to call janitor pretty quick. So he run to room nine and he shined his giant flashlight in William's mouth. And then Dr. Smiley got the dangerous flash right out of there. Room nine clapped and clapped. Dr. Smiley did a bow. Then Mrs. said that maybe some of us might like to dress up like dentists or police officers on job day. 
Yeah, only what if you don't like drunk guys or bloody tears, I asked. Bizess rolled her eyes way up at the ceiling. Then she walked Officer Mike and Dr. Smiley out into the hall. That's when room nine started buzzing very loud. Buzzing is what you do when your teacher leaves the room. I'm going to dress up like an actress on job day, said a girl named Emily. I'm going to dress up like a princess, said my bestest friend Lucille, that I hate. I did a giggle. I'm going to dress up like a bullfighter, I said. Then I ran speedy fast around the room, and I butted that mean gym in the stomach with my head. And guess what? I didn't even get caught. That's what. Chapter 3. Me and my big fat mouth. After school was over, me and my bestest friend named Grace walked to the bus together. Except for that, Grace kept on wanting to skip, and I didn't. How come you don't want to skip, she said. Me and you always skip to the bus. I know, Grace, I said. But today... I've got a very big problem inside my head, and uh, it's cold. I still don't know what job I want to be when I grow up. I do, said that Grace. I'm going to be Mickey Mouse at Disneyland. I did a big sigh at her. Yeah, only too bad for you, Grace, I said. Because there is only one real alive Mickey Mouse, and you're not him. That Grace laughed very hard. Mickey isn't real. Silly, he's just a boss suit with a guy inside, she said. And so just then I felt very sickish inside of my stomach because I didn't know Mickey was a suit, that's why. What did you have to tell me that for, Grace? I said, real upset. Now I feel very depressed. Then I hurried up on the bus and I scoot, scooted way over by the window. Except I couldn't get any peace and quiet. Because everybody kept on talking about dumb old job day. I'm going to be a famous singer, said a girl named Rose. I'm going to be a famous the, the baton twaller, said another girl named Linny. Then a girl named Charlotte said she was going to be a famous painter. Famous painters are called artists, she explained. And artists are very rich. After that, I felt a little bit cheerier. Because guess what? The Grandma Miller says I paint beautifully, that's what. Hey, baby, I'll be a famous painter, too, I said. I'm going to be a prison guard, said a boy named Roger. My Uncle Roy is a prison guard, and he gets to carry the keys for the whole entire prison. Then my mouse did a smile, because one time my dad gave me the key to the front door. And I unlocked it all by myself, and I didn't even need any help. Hey, maybe I might carry keys too, Roger, I said. Because I know how to use those things very good. Just then, William raised his hand, very bashful. I'm going to be a superhero and save people from danger, he said. And so then I jumped right out of my seat, because that was the bestest idea of all. Me too, William, I hollered. Because that sounds very exciting, I think. So I'm going to save people from danger too. Then the mean Jim jumped up at me. Copycat, copycat. You're just copying everybody else. And anyway, you can't be three jobs. You can only be one. I met a girly face at him. I'm just being one job, I said. Very angry. It's a special kind of job. Where you paint and you unlock stuff and you save people. So there, ha ha on you. The gym made a cuckoo sign out at me. Goonie, he said. Goonie B. Jones. There's no such job like that in the whole entire universe. Yes, there is. There is too. You big fat, you big fat gym, I yelled. And it's the best job in the whole wide world. He crossed his arms and did a mean smile. Okay, then what's the name of it? He said. Then the bus got very quiet and everybody kept on waiting and waiting for me to say the name of my job. Except for I just couldn't think of anything and so my face got very reddish and hardish. I felt like pew again. See, told ya, 
said the mean Jim. There's no such shop. Told ya, told ya, told ya. After that, I sat down very quiet. And I stared out the window because a sickish feeling was back inside my stomach again. That's why. Me and my big fat mouth, chapter for dumb Ollie. I got off the bus at my corner. Then I run to my house, speedy quick. Help, help, I'm in big trouble, I yelled to mother because I accidentally uh, shut off my big fat mouse on the bus and now I have to paint and unlock stuff and save people from danger. Only what kind of stupid dumb job is that? Back here, called the monster. Back here means the nursery. The nursery is the place where my new baby brother Named Ollie Lips. I ran there very fastest. Mother was rocking Ollie in the rocking chair. He was a little bit sleeping. I need to talk to you very bad. I shouted some more because I did a big fib and now I don't know how to get out of it. Just then Ollie waked up. He st started crying very much. Great, said Mother. Very growl growly. Yeah, only sorry, but I'm upset here, I explained. Ollie scratched louder and louder. His voice sounded like a scratch, sore throat. Mother put him on her lap, then she rubbed the sides of, the, of his forehead with her fingers. That's cause she had a, a my brain headache, I think. You're just going to have to wait until I get the baby settled again, she said. Still grumpy. Yeah, only I can't wait, cause mother butted in. Not now, Jenny B. I'll be out to talk to you as soon as I can. Now, please go. Then she pointed at the door, pointing means out, out. Darn it, I said, darn it, darn it, darn it. Cause that dumb old baby, Takes up all of mother's time and he's not even interested. He doesn't know how to roll over or sit up or play Chinese checkers. He's a dud, I think. I would like to take him back uh, to the hospital, but mother said no. After I left the nursery, I went outside in front my my front yard and I sat in the grass all by herself by myself and I played with a stick and another ant. Only the stupid ant bited me and I saw I had to drop a rock on his head. Finally my daddy's car came into the driveway and my heart got very happy. Daddy's home, daddy's home, hooray, hooray, I yelled and I ran to him and the pig and he picked me up, and I gave him my most biggest hug. I'm very glad to see you, I said, because on Monday, I have to dress up like what job I want to be. Except for I accidentally said I'm going to paint and save people and carry lots of keys. Only what kind of dumb bunny job is that? My daddy put me down. His eyebrows looked confused at me. Can we talk about this at dinner? He asked, no, I said, we have to talk right now because I've already waited all I can and I'm getting tension in me. Well, I'm afraid you're just going to have to wait a little more, little while longer, said Daddy, because right now I've got to see if your mother needs help with the baby. Then he did a kiss on my head. And he walked right into the house. And guess what? Sometimes I wish stupid dumb Ollie never even came to live with us. The end.